Hello everyone, my name's Jonas Panda and welcome to a little bit more serious video. I'm going to be talking about osteosarcoma, the type of cancer that I had. All I'm going to be doing is basically explaining what it is and how to know if you've got it, if you've, and how you should go around getting it checked if it's something that you're worried about. And also before I start getting deeper into this, I just want to tell everyone that the 1v1 Jeff video will be a slightly delayed because of the stupid file it take. I was downloading it and it wouldn't want to finish downloading it, just saying crashed, keep crashing whenever I'm downloading it and yeah, let's get into that. So if you were to look up osteosarcoma on Google, it would come up. Osteosarcoma is a type of cancer that produces immature bone. It is usually the most common type of cancer that arises in bones and it is usually found at the end of long bones, often around the knee. Most people diagnosed with osteosarcoma are under 25 and it's thought to occur more in males than females. That would be a very, very good explanation and there you go. That's it. You could just click off now and you'd know what osteosarcoma is. But it's more than that. There's more to it than just a tumour. It's all the stuff that comes with that all the anxiety, all the depression, all the stuff that are behind the scenes that some people don't like talking about and I'm going to explain what the behind the scenes are for the people that are curious and want to know. So I'm not going to try and make this all about me because I'm not like that, I'm not arrogant. <laughs> but for myself, it happened for me around my knee area and I'm not going to show any pictures because it's quite personal but it was just a massive, just imagine, look down at your right knee, a massive rugby ball on top of your kneecap. That what was for me. I just thought it was swelling because I'd fallen over at the time. And there was, my dad was like, and I was like, oh, it's fine, it was just, it's just swelling, it must be inflammation or something. And we went to doctors and they gave us ultrasound scans and then straight away after that x-rays and MRIs so something was definitely wrong and that's when I got told I was playing COD at the time um, and my mum and dad came in the room saying John you have, you've got cancer <laughs> there's nothing more saddening than getting told those words ever He's, there's nothing more than that apart from you're in the clear and that happened March 2016. My oncologist said, you're in the clear for now. It was just relief, really. Just got to know that I can now, that I could live life that I should have, except different, if that makes sense. So, unfortunately for me, osteosarcoma made my life hell. I was the worst patient you could ever have. I was always pressing the buzzer, wanting someone to come, because I hated, I hate being alone. When you're sitting in a room staring at four walls by yourself, there's nothing more than just you only being there. And even though my dad was there through the whole day, eight o'clock in the morning until five o'clock at night, and then my mum coming in five o'clock till eight o'clock, it just some days it's just you're sitting there staring at the ceiling just like what's going to happen what's going to happen to me and what's this disease going to do to me um, and then that's when i started getting very depressed and anxious i was always anxious and i still am to this it just always carries a weight on me like what if i do this and then something else is going to happen and someone's going to say something and people are going to do something it's just always that lingering feeling that never ever goes away. So the fact that 20,000 people have came here and said, this is really good and I'm glad you do what you do. Now I've got more people to need to impress or sort of make them want to stay and watch me, which me, last year, I was sitting around doing bugger all, just I couldn't go back to school because they wanted me to do two years work in like six months, I was, pfft, might have been a bit of graduation but I'm, there was no chance I was doing that so I'm sitting here with little to nothing from school because I got diagnosed. Exam season of my first exams so I was 
out a bit. I couldn't do anything for that. Now I know I'm probably going to get some people saying I've said things wrong or perhaps even done this video wrong, but I'm just saying what is on my mind just now about osteosarcoma and the fact that there are some people that aren't as lucky as me and people that have had way worse and deserve a lot, lot more and haven't done. It's just, I'm obliged to say that there in the world, there are people that can't afford treatment. I'm just so glad, grateful for the NHS that it's free or else I was, I might not be here speaking to you. And I just want to say thank you again. I would like to thank my whole family for being there with me. My friends that are stick through me thick and thin. And I'd like to thank you all, the audience, for subscribing to me after Jev, who has forever changed my life. And again, thank you. I'm doing this one one on one videos just now because it's quite serious topics and I want to feel it more because yeah. Having a game in the background wouldn't exactly have the same feeling, you know. So tomorrow's video, I'm hoping to have the 1v1s with Jeff. If that doesn't happen, I do have other videos I can do and I will tweet it out. So make sure to look on my Twitter and see if, because I do give updates on that. So I hope you all enjoyed watching this video and I hope none of you are upset. So thank you again. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.